Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Editable PowerPoint Infographic Series, you will learn how to create Harvey Balls in PowerPoint. Harvey Balls are extremely useful to show the percentage completion of a project. For example, if you were to give a very quick snapshot of how the various projects have uh, progressed over a period of time, you can actually use this table where you write the name of the various projects and then with a simple icon, you can show how much of the project is completed. For example, this one shows that, it's, that only 25% is completed and 50% completed, it's totally completed, totally, uh, it, it is not even started and things like that. And it's a very handy way to represent an information instead of uh, relying on just the text. It is extremely easy to create these beautiful icons, visual icons. And we're going to see how it is done from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing we are going to do is to use the oval tool in Auto Shapes menu under Basic Shapes. I clicked on it and while I hold my shift button, I have uh, drawn this oval to form a perfect circle. The next thing we are going to do is to go once again to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes we are going to select this tool called as Pie Tool. Click on it and we are going to draw a pie chart as well. This is an editable auto shape based pie chart which you can completely edit by moving these yellow icons and we will see how it is done in a very short time, uh, very quickly. First let us see if the first thing is to match the size of these two so that you can keep one on top of the other. So first let us see what is the size of this one. For this let us go to format tab here and you can see the size, height and weight of uh, the circle. So let us say we make it as one each and let us see what is the size of this one. We clicked on it and there you have already we have got it as um, one inch for height and width. The next step is to make this one with light gray fill and we change the shape outline color to black and we can increase the weight of the shape outline to say two and a half, uh, two one by four points and this one we are going to fill with a lighter gray color and remove the shape outline and now we are going to keep this one on top of the other just to make sure that you are able to uh, keep both of them align properly you can select both of them go to arrange align align center arrange align align middle and there you are the Harvey ball icon is ready and it shows 25 percent completion complete let us say we selected both of them and grouped them and we want to make a copy of it I am going to I, I have held my control button while I move the shape so I can create a duplicate now I can select the top shape and I can move it to represent any level of percentage completion for example if I want to show um, somewhere around say 35 percent complete or 40 percent complete I can do that Maybe I can say 50% completion I can show this way, 75% completion, there are so many ways I can do it. So I just play with the yellow handles here to create the percentage completion levels that I want to show. You need to be clear about what exactly represent this uh, percentage completion. For example, if you want to show this as red, then go here and have this as red at the background and you can have this the top layer as white to show the percentage completion as red so there are ways in which you can alter the same icon to represent uh, the percentage completion so that is about Harvey balls in PowerPoint and as you might have seen it's a very easy thing to create while it is a good idea to use such icons to represent uh, project completion stages 
not all project related charts are this simple sometimes you may have to show some complex ones like this one like uh say burn down chart this involves a lot of effort and if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such uh, graphs in excel and then put them on to powerpoint or to use the native capabilities of powerpoint and create such charts we have got all these templates ready made readily available for you for example this is one of the templates we have taken from our visual powerpoint graphs pack this burn down chart shows the extent of production so this is the amount of production each month and this is the target for each month and this line shows the rate at which you are expected to complete the production whereas this red line shows the actual completion rate so you can see how your completion rate the rate at which you are completing compares with the target rate of completion and you can also see how you are progressing versus target it's a very very beautiful chart which is used quite a lot in project uh, related presentations and to use this chart it's extremely easy just click on it right click go to edit data and you just have to enter your numbers here in the yellow columns and rest everything is calculated all by itself for example if i want to show that uh, jan performance has been say 80 automatically you are able to sorry this is the target jan jan target is 80 you've already got this shown and let us say your performance has been beyond uh, the target say let us say 120 you automatically can see how your performance is over the target and because your performance has been so good you can see that the rate at which you are expected to complete the rest of it is also coming down so such is the way in which this entire chart works with just a few numbers uh inputting a few numbers you not only have the chart ready you also have it placed completely formatted right inside a powerpoint slide creating data driven graphs has never been easier another example of uh, a data driven graph is this one where you show this is the rate the cumulative target rate and this is the rate at which you are completing it and you can see how your run rate compares with the target run rate the same way you have performance for each month and a target everything is available in one graph once again to edit this you go to edit data and only change these uh, numbers in the yellow column and this one is about the control chart where you show each hours performance and whether it is uh, in the acceptable range or whether it is going beyond the controls the upper controls and the lower controls for example if i want to show how this one works let us say for in our 2 instead of 5.8 your performance uh, the output has been say 12 you can see that automatically the chart adjusts itself and it has gone beyond the upper control range let us say the next hour has overcompensated and is only 2 and you see this goes below the lower control range and things like that it's it's a fantastic uh, tool and all these are ready made templates available in powerpoint we have 320 such data driven graphs available for you to download and use and they are all premium charts uh we urge you to take a look at our visual powerpoint graphs pack where some of the charts that are created are mind boggling for example this dual thermometer the speedometer and this funnel chart which is totally uh data driven you have battery chart butterfly chart you name it it's available some of the infographics like uh this column chart available placed inside um tab icon there's so many beautiful ways in which data is represented hope you really liked our tutorial on creating harvey balls in powerpoint if you want to learn more such tutorials read more articles to improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills 
or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting